section. So let's start with the first one, which came first, the chicken or the egg. Now, this seemed like a completely hypothetical question, as we have no clear example about where the chicken is. Is it currently on the planet of Mars? Well, through deductive reasoning, you can decide that the chicken is clearly not on Mars, and who is on Mars, who is up Okay? So, through deductive reasoning and a precise method of quantum chair abuse, I have devised that the answer to this question is decidedly yes. Okay, so next. How much wood can one chuck chuck wood chuck? Well, so this question involves a elongated beaver eating a tree for no reason. Okay? So, so, said big beaver, said pretend beaver, um, if he gets chuck one wood per second, then in a minute he would check 60 wood. Simple math. Okay, well, the ratios here are completely uncertain, but I think that through technicalities, um, the, the amount of time is probably wood, um, and the amount of wood is probably 24 hours. <laughs> now, so, final question. Um, how many birds are in flock or what makes a bird a part of a flock? There's no invisible barrier in, in around the flock. I mean, like, it would have been, it would be pretty cool if there's like a, a, a force field around the bird. But unfortunately, this isn't the case. They are completely vulnerable birds. Anyway, so what makes one part of a flock? Well, what even is a flock? Wait, what even makes you part of a community? Now, this is an interesting question. Like, there are no visible boundaries or clear boundaries. So, after a lot of thinking, and I mean a lot of thinking, like, I spent less than five milliseconds on it. <laughs> but, 